My brother Rahul is elder to me by two years. He has been my ally through both the most beautiful and the most painful moments of my life. Indira ji was like another mother to us. My brother was 14 years old and I was 12 when she was assassinated in our own home. Seven years later, at the age of 21, when my brother was studying in Harvard University, my father was assassinated. Soon after the passing away of my father, my brother decided to work hard and equip himself to fulfill the dreams that my father could not fulfill. He finished his education at Cambridge University in the UK and got himself a job. He worked anonymously without the crutches of connections and the name of his family. In his personal life, he is simple. It is not much known, but he has read most of the religious texts of Hinduism, Islam, Buddhism, and also of Christianity. He's passionate about soccer and travel and has traveled the world to understand people, social movements. He's a black belt in Aikido, a qualified pilot, and instructor level freediver. As I worked with him in Amethi, we started self-help group for women. When my brother became MP of Amethi, he grew that program which was helping 500 women into a program which is the biggest self-help group for women today in Northern India. And there are more than 1 million women who are benefiting from it. My brother is a man who believes so deeply in equality that he will not remain silent in the face of inequality. For him, justice matters, truth matters, and equality for everyone around him matters. He believes in the freedom of expression, of language, of worship, of culture. He understands that the true nature of this nation is that it was built by the people, for the people. He is a man who was ridiculed for his courage and berated for his ideas, yet he never allowed himself to become prey to anger and hatred. He is someone who is abused daily by his opponents. His education is questioned. His martyred father is called a thief. His mother is called names. And yet he has the courage and the wisdom to stand up and hug those who abuse him. In the atmosphere of division, hatred and negativity that pervades our country today, a man like Rahul Gandhi, whose abiding faith in equality, love and freedom his ability to embrace and resolve is a powerful message to all of us. I know he is fully committed to your welfare and I know that if there is ever a crisis, he will stand by you shoulder to shoulder and fight for you.